Hello and welcome to a Chem Systematic Q tutorial. In this one we'll have a look on how to remove fixtures from an FX. As you can see we have a circular FX here. Let's say I got two groups, one left and one right. I would like to remove the right ones. Now note that this is a, a normal FX, it's not a group FX. But I will we'll come back to group FX later. So first we'll have a look to how to remove fixtures from a normal FX. So press include and then on the playback here. So we get the information into the programmer. Now these are, in this case it's very simple. We have one effect and there are the same head types. So what we do is we press the right group, go back into the program window, hold on shift, and then split FX. Now it splits based on your selection. So if we uh, temporarily zero size this, we can see that we have split the FX into two, the left one and the right one. Then we we'll simply press remove and on the effect. Now we can see we only have the left running. What we can do then is press on hold on shift while pressing clear to clear out the selection, which was the which which was the right fixtures. Then we press update. And clear. And now we can see we have excluded this, uh, the right fixtures. But the problem is that now we don't have the the full spread here. So I should have done this before I cleared out, but include that back. Then we can see it says 100%, but it's not 100%. It's based on the the, the original uh, F FX. So what we simply can do is uh, press 100 here and then on update again. And now we have spread the 100% spread is applied on the, on the left fixtures. Alright, so let's say you regret your decision, you want to rejoin the right fixtures into the FX. Well, it's not too hard. What you need to do is include the playback. And what you want to do is apply, first you want to apply the same effects as which you want to join into here uh, to the right heads. So we select the right heads and then we apply the effects, a circle. And then we hold on shift and then join effects. So now we have joined the FX, uh, the selections into uh, the FX of this selection into each other. But they are still using, as you can see here, we are 30% size and then 50% size. So, what is, so we, what we want to do is just, if you want to keep the, or you can change the number, but let's. If you want to have both at 30%, we simply in the size column here, retype the number in here. So I'm gonna type 30 and then enter. So now they have the same size, but not the same spread. So we sim simply do the same thing as we did when we split them. We type in 100 here, 100. And now they are the spread is applied on all of these fixtures. Then we press update. Now we got. Now we have rejoined the right fixtures with the left fixtures. All right. So splitting and joining fixtures from a normal FX can take some time and it's a little tricky. There's a much simpler way, and that is by using group FX. 
So first we record a new group with all the fixtures, and which is important in this case if you want to remove and add heads and so on because a group effects will refer to a group not the heads themselves so we select a new group add group effects or first we locate them and then we apply a circle effects size 30 and then we'll head over to group spread double press here or down here to access options press all channels and now it will spread on we'll apply the spread on all the different pan and tilt channels here not the fixtures themselves so, to speak. so I'm gonna record them play back here so two okay so now let's remove the right um, the right fixtures from the FX so we select the right fixtures shift record record remove then press on the group which we recorded the new FX on I can see as you can see now there are only 10 fixtures in this group which are the left ones and it automatically reapplied the spread on the group so you don't have to go into the program and you know uh, type retype the spread again which is very simple you do have to go into here and then clear out these fixtures or clear out the right fixtures to reapply the effects to the right fixtures as well we simply select the fixtures which we want to include into the effects shift record record merge then press on the group we have added these fixtures to this group it has reapplied the spread on the FX on this group and so as you can see that it was a much simpler process than splitting and joining so this can be useful when you often change the size of the rig or something all right i hope that was useful i know i use groovex way too seldom but thanks for watching i'll see you around